This is a production of Cornell University. Okay, so one test we do to test for the compaction of the soil is called bulk density. And this measures the density of the soil per a certain volume. And if, first what we're going to do is move away the organic matter of the soil, so we're not going to be testing that density. We want to get down to the actual soil. I think that's good. I see roots. So once that's removed, we're going to take a known volume, which is this cylinder here, and place it on the soil, put a block to distribute the weight, and we're going to basically push that cylinder into the soil. We want to pound this in so the cylinder is level with the soil. Just a little bit more. Okay, basically we've got our cylinder in the soil and we want to get that known volume of soil out and put it in a bag which will then dry and weigh. So I have my bag here, which I'll label. Uh, it's always good to label, you know, men's garden. And then getting this out sometimes takes a little effort. You have to move around this cylinder. It's very dry, so it's making it harder. We can lever this a little bit. We want to make sure all the soil is in the cylinder. We put this underneath. Make sure we have a known volume. And then we allow that soil to get out into the cylinder, into the bag. Because now we have a known volume in a bag which will dry this soil and the dry weight per volume gives us the bulk density. It's a measure of compaction of the soil. It's very useful when you're doing soil testing. This has been a production of Cornell University on the web at cornell.edu.